Nick, my entire life, I've been seeking what's reality. I was trained in brain science, and I've explored the theistic hypothesis. I saw a, an article that you wrote that said maybe the whole universe, everything that we think is reality, is a fake. And I said to myself, well, that's, that's a clever little joke. But is it a joke? No, this, the, the, the world might be a lot stranger than we think. Uh, and if you stand back, uh, um, it might not be that impossible that the truth, whatever it might be, might be something that would sound very strange to us if we suddenly discovered it. Um, so the mere fact that some hypotheses seem strange uh, or odd or even funny is not necessarily um, a reason to dismiss it. So then you have to zoom in and actually look at the reasons for this. Um, and the simulation argument, which I came up with, um, it doesn't actually show or try to show that we are in a simulation. It, it tries to show that one of three possibilities is true. It doesn't tell us which one, only that at least one of them is true. Um, and so those three possibilities are, one, that um, almost all human-level civilizations um, go extinct before becoming technologically mature. Uh, technologically mature means In having... A very advanced way. Yeah, having developed all those technologies, we can already see are physically possible. We just can't build it yet, but we could see that it's possible in principle. Um, so that's the first possibility. There is a very strong filter so that almost nobody makes it through. Um, the second possibility is that among all technologically mature civilizations, uh, almost none of them is interested in creating what I call ancestor simulations. An ancestor simulation would be a very detailed computer simulation of people like their historical predecessors. A computer simulation um, so detailed that the simulated people would be conscious. The people simulated in the simulation would actually have experiences like we do. And when you say simulation, I'm saying fake. I mean, what, what it looks like is not the real case. Yeah. If, um, I mean, wh whether you would want to call it fake or not, um, we, we can continue to discuss. Um, but the second possibility is that of all the mature civilizations, they're just not interested in, they, they have other better things to do, you know, with all their resources. <laughs> they have powerful computers and all of that, but uh, running simulations of their historical predecessors is just not anything that any of them is doing. Okay. Um, the third possibility, um, which is the one you were referring to, is the simulation hypothesis. The hypothesis that we are literally living in a computer simulation. Um, that the whole world that we see around us is not just in a metaphorical sense, but in an absolutely literal sense, uh, existing only in the computer built by some advanced civilization. So that's what the argument tries to show, that at least one of those three is true. So let's go over it again. Number one is that civilizations become extinct before they become yeah. the super technology yeah. society. And almost all of them, not just o most almost, of them. Yeah, 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 practically yeah, yeah. all of them. Uh, yeah, almost 100% yeah. because you have to get yeah. all, yeah. Secondly, that if, if a couple make it through the first, that for some reason they have no interest yeah. in going through it. And again, it has to be practically all of them uh, lose interest right. completely. Uh, and the third, if, if you're not, you don't accept those two, you're left with the third, and that is we're it, yeah. almost certainly. Yeah. And it's a, the full argument uses some probability theory and stuff like that, but the basic idea behind the argument can be easily conveyed, I think. Um, so assume that the first possibility is not true. So assume that of all human-level civilizations in the world, at least some you know, non-negligible fraction become technologically mature one day. And the argument makes no assumption whether this will happen in 50 years, as some people say, or whether it will take 500,000 years. Or but 500 million 500 years. 500 million years. Um, so then, if we assume that that is false, then there will be eventually some um, civilizations that are mature. Uh, and also assume that the second uh, possibility does not obtain. So at least some of these mature civilizations use some fraction of their computational resources to have some to fun. Creating, yeah, to run <laughs> ancestor simulations. Um, now, then you can show that because the technological capabilities that such a mature civilization would have would be so extreme, they would be able, even by devoting a tiny fraction of their computers to this end, uh, they could create astronomical numbers of these ancestor simulations. 
So, so if you're saying it wouldn't be that hard for them? Uh, no, you can see, you can roughly estimate how much computing power it would take to run one, say, simulation of human history. Um, and you can also roughly calculate a lower bound on how much computing power a technologically mature civilization will have. We already have some engineering designs. You could turn planets into computers, and you can see how much. You know, there might have many planets, and there might have other unknown technologies that we haven't even guessed at. But, but just with e even what just we know. using what you already know is physically possible. You could show that even if they just used, say, um, you know, a, 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 a thousandth of their computing power for just one second, they could still run astronomical numbers of these simulations of human history. Which means that if you reject the first two possibilities you have to conclude um, that there will be many more simulated people like us than non-simulated people like us. In other words, almost all people with our kinds of experiences would be living in these simulations rather than in the original history uh, because they would create so many of them. Um, now, if that's, if that's the way the world is, that almost all people like you having this kind of visual experience of talking to me and are simulated, then by a principle of indifference that you can argue independently for, you should think you're probably one of the simulated ones. 